what's up guys for the day three of our Cape Town trip we're actually gonna do the wine tram visit so we take like this train and you sort of visit different spots along the wine route in Cape Town it's apparently one of the nicest wine routes in the world so we'll see what it looks like there's a couple of stops we have to do I'm very excited so enjoy this next short montage of what we're actually doing <laughs> Basically at our first stop it's a rickety bridge. I have to say I quickly realized that I'm not a red wine connoisseur. I think I, I lean more towards the white wine side. I think I might enjoy a rosé so we'll see. So far the, the red's a bit, it's a bit spicy if I can say that. Um, but uh, I enjoy it, it's very beautiful. We took a nice cheese platter with it and uh, we'll see what a second stop looks like. Stop two on the wine tram, we stopped at Franschuk Cellar. Stop three, we're gonna start at Auto Gabri. So we'll see what it looks like. So far, Franschuk Cellar was, I think we did a six wine tasting with six chocolates. It was beautiful. It's a more chilled vibe, this one. <laughs> First stop was at Alta Gabri, you can see it here behind me. Uh, it's very very beautiful views, specifically the scenic route, it has a beautiful cellar, so I recommend doing the cellar tour. So we had our fourth stop which is Hold of Mans. I have to say it's a very relaxed area if you just want to take like a nice break and check out these scenic mountains behind you. And I recommend coming to Hold Mans. Very relaxing. 
and uh, check out this cool bird. So we're quickly back at hotel for our final activity for the day. We're gonna take a sunset cruise from the VNA waterfront. We're very excited. I'm sure it's gonna be beautiful. So hopefully uh, the clouds don't roll up too quick on us so we can just see some nice backdrop of the sunset. Mm -hmm. 